people who are interested in the works of God more than in the ways of God, they, they end up perishing in the wilderness of life. They end up perishing in the wilderness of life. I mean, that's what happened with Israel. They were more interested in the works of God, in the miracles of God, and they perished in the wilderness without seeing, because they didn't know the ways of God. They didn't know the truth. They didn't know the principles, the truth of God. So if you are more, if you are more interested and more fascinated by miracles, if you are one of those people that go to church because of the miracle, miracle, miracle. I believe in miracles because when I talk like this, some people think I don't believe in miracles. I do. I am a miracle worker myself. I don't just believe in miracles. I do miracles. But, you know, I'm telling you the truth. Despite the fact that I'm a miracle pastor, I still tell you that you should not be carried about away with that. The Bible says that that should not be our focus. The Bible actually tells us, as a matter of fact, that many people will come in that day and say they don't know me. Why? Because it is knowing, it is a knowledge that matters they don't know me can you see the emphasis they don't know me you don't know me if they pass from me i know you not you don't know me i don't know you the emphasis of our religious activity should be to know god to know god not to just experience god's miracle or do god's miracle or just uh uh you know see god's miracles so we should not be carried away and and, and i'm and i'm and i'm and i'm very weary about churches that are the, the only advertisement they know about themselves is to talk to flag their miracles and to just be pointing to their miracles if that is the only thing your church knows if that is the only no the, the only beauty of your church you know then it doesn't there is no glory there your, your church should be glorying the bible says that anybody that should glory in god should glory in the fact that they know him that they know him that they know him and the only thing that will make you to know God is the are the principles of God, are the are the ways of God, are for you to know the ways of God. So so so, and, and some people think that that is boring. Sometimes some people might think that oh, we want the spectacles, we want the manifestations, we want the the abrika abrika something, the, the, whatever it is, and the magics. But that is why the, Jesus said that. You know, in the last days, that there will be many people doing miracles. That should not be the, the, the basis for which you follow people. The basis for which you follow people is how much they bring you to the knowledge of God. How much they teach you about the knowledge of God. How much they walk on you. Like Jesus here was walking on Philip. And he was challenging him to get to know more about God. He was trying to tell him, you know what? If you are just around me to get miracles, leave me. Get out of here. I don't want to see you. You are not my disciple. I don't even want to see you here at all. But if you want to follow me, you must follow me because you want to know the Father. You must follow me because you don't just want to see miracles. You must follow me because you want to see God. You want to see God. 